We begin with an update to a 10 News investigation into a local charity and the pay for the woman in charge. In the last two years, we exposed concerns about the pay and benefits for the leader of the East Tennessee Lions Eye Bank. 10 News reporter Carissa Lucas joining us now with the latest tax forms for that Knox County nonprofit. Carissa. John Robin, the charity says it helps restore sight to hundreds of people each year. For years, Valerie Stewart reported receiving a six-figure salary amounting to almost 20% of the annual revenue for the charity. That's a salary much bigger than what similar eye banks pay. East Tennessee Lions Eye Bank's most recent report shows revenue for the eye bank was $1.9 million. Records show Executive Director Valerie Stewart's salary represents about 18% of that number. The latest filing with the IRS shows Stewart had $316,000 in reportable compensation plus $23,000 in other compensation. That's about $20,000 more than the prior year when she made $320,000 in total compensation. A past survey of pay for local nonprofits shows that's thousands of dollars higher than what other leaders make. Hang up or press 1 for more options. WBIR reached out to the director to ask for a comment. Her daughter also works for the iBank. The most recent tax form shows she was paid $89,000. That's a reduction of more than $40,000 from two years ago, when Tenus reported she had compensation of $132,000. Since we last reported on the iBank, they've moved from their old location on Alcoa Highway near UT Medical Center to Carnes. And I stopped by the Beaver Ridge Road location today. I knocked on the door, but nobody answered. Property records show they acquired it in 2022 for about $560,000, and in May they had an open house. Now, I've reached out to the executive director and to the board president, but I haven't heard from them. All right, Chris Lucas on the update for us tonight. Thank you.